your ID. I'm not harassing you. You're harassing me. How am I harassing you? I'm gonna you? show you right now. How am I harassing you? 1130? You're gonna find out. How am I harassing you? You're shining your light in my police car. You were so you just I was asking if you were okay. okay. Why would you ask me that? I'm a police officer. Why you ask me if I'm okay? Do I need you? Am I not allowed I'm to ask if the job. police are okay? Why are you asking if I'm okay? 1130. You're going to find out. In a video taken by the YouTube channel Open Government Investigations, the citizens come across an idle vehicle and ask to see if the officer inside is okay. Where you got there? Let me see your IDs. No. Let me see your ID. I don't have my ID on me. Okay, you need to get out of here then. Okay. You have ID. You have to be in the streets if, of Florida. If we're free okay? to go. You have to have an you ID. Have to have you, have ID. Yes, you, do. you need to ID yourself. No, okay. unless we committed a crime. Be quiet. No, not at all. Okay. You have to have ID. What's your name and I don't have ID on me. Okay. Sergeant Jack, what's your name? What's your ID you're gonna number? You're going to find out real soon. What's your ID okay. number? You're going to find out real soon. What's your ID number? You're going to find out real soon. Okay. Look, look what you're doing to this house right here. Why do you care? Where do you live at? What do you mean? Where do you live at? It doesn't matter. Where do you live at? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. No, it doesn't. Well, you're in a neighborhood harassing the police officer. No, I'm not harassing. I literally matter. was asking if you were okay. You're the one that you're escalated this. Out. You're going to find out. This was his reaction. And honestly, it feels like they may have caught him doing something instead of an honest, yes, I'm fine, and everyone just goes on their merry way. Why wouldn't I be okay? I'm working. Because I've seen you here for a while and okay. I was just making sure you're business? okay. I'm in my zone. What is your business? Because I'm allowed to ask if you are okay. Why is it your business? Wow, I mean, what is okay. your problem, dude? We're gonna find out. Give me your ID. Give me your ID. Give me your ID. I need to identify who you are. Please tell him to get over here and me. Literally, okay, real quick. Can I talk to you real quick? I asked him. I don't have my ID on me. You have to have ID on the street as an adult. Okay? No, not to be on the street. If you know so much you're recording, you should know that. Okay. Not to be on the streets, it's only for driving. Okay, put your phones out. You're getting investigated right now. Okay. They came here harassing. Okay, listen. Uh, run the back can I talk to you, please? This guy is like freaking out. Okay, okay. listen. I asked him if he was okay. I was walking around. I noticed he's been sitting here for a while. I didn't know if sometimes people fall asleep. I wanted to make sure he was okay. But I, I wasn't asked, sleeping. I, I, all I did was turn my flashlight okay. on because I was looking. Came in my car, and he's like, my like, why are you harassing, harassing me? me? I said, are you okay? And he was harassing like, me. he was like, what are, you, what are you doing? I was like, are you okay? I'm just checking to see if you're okay. And he starts freaking, freaking out on us. So here an officer appears to fabricate a story with the cameras rolling and attempts to get his fellow policeman on his side. Stop coming near my camera. I'm not, I didn't break a law. I have to break a law for you to ID this me. This guy's arresting me. No. Fourth Amendment protected me. Why are you all coming at me? You're all at me right now. Why at me? No, I'm not, sir. You can't make a First Amendment protected activity. What are you talking about? Who are you to come my car, flash and light my car? Is it illegal to fucking walk around with okay. a flashlight? Who are you to do that? You're not a police officer. I'm, a, I'm a concerned citizen. citizen. Okay, and I'm working. Okay, and I was checking to make sure you are okay. You don't even so live why don't here, you man. calm down you with the even, attitude? Because here. I've been polite you with don't you. Don't even live here. You don't even you know don't that. Even live here. You don't even know identify that. Identify yourself, then. Where you live at? Where's your I ID? don't have to identify myself. Nine zero one dot one five one states I do not Where's have to identify idea? myself. I am done talking you to you. You're arresting me. Go ten eight, dude. Go ten eight. I am done with you. You need to go ten eight, man. I know that. I know who they are. I know exactly. You don't know. You have no idea who I am. Come out to my car. Put your light in my car. I was standing right there on the sidewalk. So good luck, bro. That's a lie. I was standing right there on the sidewalk. Right in front of my car. Really? I got body camera and everything. Right in front of my car. That's where you are. You're a punk, dude. You give police officers a bad name, dude. You're a punk. Yes. You're antagonizing me. I no, because you're in tag. You were the one that freaking huh? set off on us. You us, came dude. here to bother me in my job. That's ridiculous. I'm bro. working. Why are you here? Because you've been sitting why here for a while. First Amendment right. You've been sitting here for a here? while, and I'm wanting to make why sure you were okay. He's not though. Why are you here? Officer safety. I was trying to make sure you were okay. Yeah, nothing better to do. First Amendment right to record you in your duty. Okay. First Amendment right to record you in your duty. First Amendment right to record you in your duty. This pity me and I'm the victim charade is a pitiful display as the concerned citizen reads the very laws this mischievous officers sworn in to protect and follow. Hey, look, cool. I'm before. Officer Sandoval. I'm advising you. I never caught your name. I know yeah. you want to identify well, yourself. Well, you are not detained. You can walk off at any point. Okay? okay, cool. Thank you. So, hey, by the way, hey, sir. Thank you very much for your professionalism. And it truly feels like this officer knows Sergeant Jack pulls this shtick often. Nice moment here, though. I'll give you a fist bump, man. Holy crap, bro. What a punk. Sergeant Jack, Miami Police Department. I'm sorry about that. This guy literally. Yeah, he's 
literally been sitting out here for a while, man. He's been sitting here for a while, not doing anything. I went to go check and make sure he was okay, and he starts going off. To get our ID, he needs to give us a specific statue. Well, like even he, then, yeah. He, he couldn't articulate. Exactly. 901.151. Harassment. I'm not harassing him. Yeah. He, he doesn't understand what the statue of harassment means. It's a repeated activity over a certain time. It can't be once. Yeah. You... In the state of Florida, you can't do something one time and be charged with harassment. It has to be repeated over a certain amount of time. Repeated activity over a certain amount of exactly. time. Exactly. You can't have a harassment for, for a one-time incident. It has to be three times. Three times is the way that the statue works. Here is the ending that even shocked me as I saw this. That is a scumbag, bro. This guy should be fired. But you're going to run him over? I don't know. Hey, hey it's really nice because pedestrians have right away. Sergeant Jack speeds through as one of the citizens was going through the crosswalk, giving off a threatening manner to hit him with his car. Now look, there have been many calls for defunding the police because as we have seen many times over, it may be wise. The reason our tax dollars do not have to go towards the brutalizations police put forth on the people of this country or even go towards stupid acts like this from Officer Jack. The rise in police spending occurred not long ago. Investopedia wrote between 1977 and 2017 police budgets grew from $42.3 billion to $114.5 billion, according to an Urban Institute analysis of U.S. Census Bureau data. Corrections and court spending also increased during this period. In the wake of the George Floyd protests, some local politicians have dangled the fruit in the eyes of activists with passionate words and empty gestures. Bloomberg notes, even as the 50 largest U.S. cities reduced their 2021 police budgets by 5.2% in aggregate, often as part of broader pandemic cost-cutting initiatives, law enforcement spending as a share of general expenditures rose slightly to 13.7% from 13.6%, according to data compiled by Bloomberg City Lab. And many cities like Minneapolis and Seattle have watered down or put on pause changes that were proposed or even passed at the height of the 2020 demonstrations against racism and police brutality. Each year, state and local governments spend upward of $100 billion on law enforcement, and that's excluding billions more in federal grants and resources, wrote the ACLU. Funneling so many resources into law enforcement instead of education, affordable housing, and accessible health care has caused significant harm to communities. Police violence is actually a leading cause of death for black men. A recent study found that one in 1,000 black men can expect to be killed by police. And public health experts have described police violence as a serious public health issue. For a country like ours, which considers itself a modern democracy that pushes ideals of freedom and justice for all, that number should be truly shocking. Out of the 10.3 million arrests made per year, only 5% are for the most serious offenses. And you see them listed right there. These are the ones that truly threaten public safety. The other 95% of arrests are for things like traffic violations, marijuana possession, unlawful assembly, and even removing a shopping cart from store premises. That means that police spend the most resources going after minor incidents that actually don't threaten everyday life, but do lead to mass criminalization and incarceration. Furthermore, as Brookings noted, a study using 60 years of data found that an increase in funding for police did not significantly relate to a decrease in crime. Throwing more police on the street to solve a structural problem is one of the reasons why people are protesting in the streets. Defunding police, reallocating funding away from police departments to other sectors of government may be more beneficial for reducing crime and police violence. 